you are dangerous people. Don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Greetings, guys. It is me here with a message of the kingdom of heaven. Ah, guys, we're talking about love. Forget that this scripture starts like this. Guys, it's a message of love. Ah, guys, you know, I've never in my life been loved like that. Ah, guys, those two people, ah. <laughs> you know, I sit sometimes and I think about the things they say to me and I'm like, I laugh, guys, I laugh, you know. <laughs> because, you know, guys, those people can laugh, you know. They, guys, ah, Jesus, guys, never shy away from showing ah, affection. Ah, that guy, guys, ah. So for me, you know, it's easy for me to say, I love you, my Lord. Ah, I love those two, you know. When he, he says it to me as well, he says, I love you, my baby. I love you, my daughter. And I'm like, I love you too. You know what I mean? Guys, those people are love. Ah, guys, you know, they are love specialists. You know, Mr. Lava Lava, you know, Mr. Pombastic. You know, I call them that sometimes because that's what they are. You know what I mean? And I look at this scripture and you will think uh, you shouldn't be quoting from this scripture around this time. And I'm like, why not? Why not? You are going to have to prove your love to them. You are going to have to prove your love to them. Mm -hmm. Ah, guys, those people showed love. Ah, guys, those people showed love. You know, guys, when you've been given so much love, guys, when you've been loved, ah, guys, you have to show it too. You know, they say a good hand, it's a good hand or a good deed deserves another. I can't remember, guys. Oh, guys, me and my dementia. But it means that if a person has done good to you, show them. Show them goodness as well. You know, guys, with me, I don't know whether it's a good thing or an evil thing. Because, you know, when a person has done something good to me, I quickly want to return the favor. Why? I don't want to owe anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ah, guys, I don't want to owe anyone because I sit and I'm like, I'm not going to be owing you. Mm -mm. I ain't doing that. One day you're going to ask me to return that favor. I return it as early as possible. <laughs> While you are showing it to me, I'll show it to you at the same time some, sometimes. Because in my mind, I'm like, let me show this one love. So that they won't say I owe them. I don't owe anyone anything, guys. <laughs> Except my Lord. Because I sit and I'm like, my Lord, you've given me blood. Oh, how on earth am I going to out? Ah, ah my Lord. Ah, and then he gave me the command so that I can continue obeying him, thus remaining spiritually alive. And then I sit and I'm like, ah, uh, 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 my Lord. Now, how am I going to beat you on that? There's no way I'm going to beat him. There's no way, guys. I'll, I'll always be forever indebted to my Lord. Guys, love, guys, a message of love. You know, these days, guys, it's, a day, it's days where you go to the beach, you know. And guys, you know, I live close to the beach, you know. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> when I was young, we used to go to the beach a lot, you know, around this time. And sometimes we'd sleep there. We, we are no longer allowed, you know. <laughs> you know, the law doesn't allow us anymore, you know, because we do whatever we want to do, you know, around the beach. But... You know, so it's a time where people go to the beach, you know, and enjoy with family members and enjoy with friends, you know, until you sit and you're like, damn, who is going to be my friend now? Because, guys, that's what I'm talking about nowadays because I'm talking about you showing Jesus love. Guys, these days I'm speaking about you showing Jesus love because you have to prove it back. You know, guys, I see it and I look at what happened in Genesis 3. It's Adam disobeying Jesus and then he dies spiritually because human beings were wired to live according to Jesus' law. Because guys, you see, Jesus is a God. Every word that comes out of his mouth is law. You understand? So Adam was supposed to obey his laws. So when he disobeyed and died spiritually and I died as well, Jesus came and showed me love. He came and showed me love. You understand? And I see it and I'm like... At first, you will think that Jesus was losing. No, he wasn't losing because, you know, when he came back, as much as people open churches and preach their own things, his sheep, his sheep, guys, they will continue. They will continue obeying him. They will, even though, guys, our flesh is dead, meaning Satan has really 
you know, ah, guys, you know, I, I look at Genesis 3 and I'm like, hey, Satan really got us because as much as Jesus comes and give us the blood, so our spirit is now right. We are back to, to our father. We like our father again. The flesh is still dead. And I'm like, damn, Satan, you dealt with us. You know, you got us for good. You know, but guys, if you are a sheep, if you love him, if you love him, you know, you will prove that love to him. You will prove it because you will obey him as well. As much as it's, guys, as much as it is difficult for you to continue obeying him, you sit and you're like, no, I love my father. You know, guys, these days you are around uh, many people and temptations are all over the place. You know, guys, when you are sitting and you are alone with daddy, you feel okay. And then you are around people. That's when you sit and you're like, damn, temptations. Guys, two minutes, guys. For me, guys, two minutes, you know, being with people, I start feeling, you know, this thing. And I'm like, yeah. Ah, now it shows that I'm with people because people are saying whatever they want to say, are doing whatever they want to do, you know. And you sit and you're like, damn, I'm not supposed to be doing that. Why? I belong to the kingdom of heaven. And the people who are spiritually alive, people who belong to the kingdom of heaven, don't do these things. And, you know, guys, I wasn't born spiritually alive. I wasn't born belonging to the kingdom of heaven. You understand? I was also spiritually dead. So I know that what they are doing right now seems good, looks good. And guys, it's an in thing, you know. Sleeping with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, guys, is an in thing. You understand? Shaking with your boyfriend and your girlfriend, guys, is an in thing. You know, loving money, you know, is an in thing. You understand? You know, uh, being a blessed story, you know, loving the things of the world is an in thing. You understand? A good thing, you know. But for for one who belongs to the kingdom of heaven, it's not. So when you're sitting with people in your mind, you're like, damn, I'm not supposed to be doing this. You know, so you run away. You tend to run away as fast as you can. And they're like, why are you running away from us? They don't understand. Ah, guys, they don't understand that you belong to a kingdom of heaven and your spirit is no longer wanting to do the things you are doing. You understand? Your spirit, guys, is no longer wanting to do the things you are doing. You know, so when you sit with them and they are doing these things, they are saying these things, it's like, I can't do them anymore. I can't say them anymore. I understand. I understand that your flesh is doing them. My flesh also wants to do them. And guys, most of the time I tend to run away from people because it's like my flesh also wants to do these things. My flesh is not immune to these things. You understand? My guys, my flesh is still dead. It wants to do the things you are doing. And when I'm around you, when I'm with you, you know, my flesh also wants to do these things. Why? I'm not immune. I'm your uh, guys. I'm not immune. You understand? So these days, guys, you know, I'm sitting and I'm like, I'm gonna be keep po posting. Guys, I'm gonna keep posting because I'm sitting and I'm like, you know what? You're not alone. You're not alone. I know. I know how it's like, especially guys, when you are maturing you are now a grown up in christ you know because it, this is a time where you have to now stop doing these things you know and people are looking at you with those eyes and guys you see the rocky places guys recently we've been, we've been speaking about the different types of of of, of seeds you understand and the rocky places guys they are like ha huh, i'm scared of persecutions you know, my family members will persecute me. If I don't do these things anymore, they will persecute me. My partner, my sexual partner, the one I've been having sex with outside marriage. And if I don't want to do this thing anymore, they will persecute me. You know, guys, it's called peer pressure here on earth. But there is a pressure of those who belong to the kingdom of heaven. Because these people, their flesh wants to do these things. Guess what? Your flesh also wants to do these things. But guess what? Your spirit doesn't want to do it because your spirit is now like your father. Paul, I mean, John, he says, he who is born of God does not continue in sin because the seed of God remains in the person. Ah, guys, 1 John 3, 
verse 6. He says, he who is born of God does not continue in sin because the seed of God does not allow you. It doesn't allow you. You are born of God. You are a sheep. So you can't sin. You can't continue in sin. You were sinning before because you didn't know the truth. And today, because you didn't know the truth, it didn't count. Because, guys, Paul says, where there is no law, sin is absent. Where there is no law, sin is not taken into account. So now I'm telling you that you were sinning before you were doing this thing. You were this blessed story. You were this success story. When you were passing by, they were saying, wow, did you see what he drives? Did you see where he lives? Did you see what she's uh, uh, wearing? You understand? But now, because you belong to the kingdom of heaven, you understand that you are not supposed to be befriending the world because friendship with the world is enmity towards God. Ah, guys, that's what I'm talking about these days. You know, I sit and I'm like, I'm going to post today as well. As much as I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays, but uh, during this time, I need to post as much as I can because I need to show you that you're not alone. You're not alone. I understand how difficult it is. It was okay for you when you were a, a child in Christ. You, when you were a babe in Christ, but now you are a grown up in Christ, you're no longer going to do the things you are doing. You understand? You're no longer going to take, uh, guys, you are no longer going to be taking those drugs. You are no longer going to be drinking that alcohol. You are no longer going to be uh, having sex with your sexual partner outside marriage. You are no longer going to be running after money. You are no longer going to be running after the things of the world. Why? Because you belong to the kingdom of heaven. And your nature doesn't allow you to do that. Because if you belong to the kingdom of heaven, you're not supposed to do those things. And guys, even worse, you're not obeying your father because you fear him. Yes, you fear him. We get that. Granted. But you are obeying him because you love him. Jesus says, I do everything he says because I love the Father. I do everything he says because I love the Father. So I'm telling you that I understand you're not alone. I understand how hard it is when you are growing up because now you are grown up in Christ. You are supposed to stay away from these things. And now, guys, you love your people. But guess what? Your people don't obey daddy and you belong to the kingdom of heaven. And while you are with them, you have to get away from them. Why? They want to do things that your flesh wants to do. But then you can't do those things. You know, guys, if you were an alcoholic, you, you, when you attend the AAA meetings, you know, they tell you that don't go with people who are still drinking because you're still weak. It's the same thing. You know, if you belong to the kingdom of heaven, a person who loves money is actually a bad influence for you. A person who loves the things of the world is actually a bad influence for you. A person who's having sex outside marriage is actually a bad influence for, for you. You understand? So I don't run away from prostitutes of the world. I don't run away from drunkards. I don't run away from drug addicts. I run away from people who love money, who go to church. I run away from people who love the things of the world, who call them blessings, who call them prosperity. I run away guys from people who go to church, who still are having sex outside marriage. Why? Because friendship with the world is enmity towards God. You understand? Ah, oh, guys, it's difficult. It's difficult. Believe me when I tell you, but I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. I'm here to tell you guys that it's not, guys, you're not alone. You know, for me, this is a tough time because it's a time where people are, are together. They are banging, you know, they are doing these things, you understand. They are dancing all night long, you understand. They are, they, guys, ah, I'm telling you, yet you have to stay away. Why? Because friendship with the world is enmity towards God. You have to prove your love to Jesus. You have to prove your love to daddy and say, you know what? I love you. I love you. And because I love you, I'm not going to be around people who don't obey you. Why? I love you. I don't want to lose you. Because if I choose the world, they, they, they don't love you. And if they don't love you, they will cause me to disobey you. I don't want to lose you. I love you that much. Ah, guys, Jesus says that love for God is obeying his commands. Ah, guys, you don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Ah, guys, but I'm here to tell you that during this time, guys, I understand you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you, dude. You know, so be strong. 
be strong and prove your love to Jesus. Until next, guys.